So, this clip was sent to me uh, the other day. Apparently, now, again, I just want to ask uh, the chat here. When you think of One America News Network, what comes to mind? What political, like, what comes to mind politically when you think of One America News Network? O-A-N-N or O-A-N. I don't know if the network, sometimes it's O-A-N, sometimes it's O-A-N-N. Right? What do you think? Well, if you are internet addict, terminally online, shit for brains, dumb fuck, you think, oh, populism and communism. So let's watch. Uh, this is Jackson Hinkle. Went on One America News Network to talk about how he's a communist. And needless to say, this did not go so well for him. Let's watch. The man himself, Jackson Hinkle. Jackson, it's great to have you on the program. Welcome to In Focus. I came across you with the, the trend, the trending hashtag MAGA communism. Um, now, a lot of people are going to hear that hashtag MAGA communism and be a little bit confused. So I'm going to let you explain what that means, because I don't think you're a communist, Jackson. Well, I actually am a communist, but at the end of the day, communists have a lot of the same goals as working class Americans made up in the MAGA movement. So we as communists want to unite with MAGA voters and finish the job of Donald Trump and getting the globalists out of the MAGA movement, because there's so many globalists that are trying to co-opt the MAGA movement. Now, Jackson, I'm going to push back just a little bit because you and I, it sounds like, agree on a whole slew of things. I despise big pharma. I despise big tech. I despise the deep state regime. But uh, where's the, the the differentiation here is, you know, I would consider myself a, a conservative populist. And, and it sounds like, you know, the views that you're espousing definitely fall on that line. So what makes you a, a communist specifically? Communism and Marxism historically has always been conservative. It's a it's a new era of communism in the West that claims to be adherent to these liberal leftist values. So this is this is uh, not true Marxism. You know, this is Marxism funded by George Soros. And they're trying to take away what Marxism actually means for for the American people. And at the end of the day, it means. So, OK, OK, real quick. One year ago. Jackson Hinkle challenged me to a debate on, basically, it was a three-hour debate. You can go watch it. And the, the crux of the debate was I didn't know what Marxism is. And Jackson Hinkle is the ultimate Marxist. He is the ultimate Marxist. He knows everything about Marxism. That was one year ago. One year ago, Jackson Hinkle said I was a right-wing, like, woke you know, liberal, whatever, trans, woke person. One year ago, now again, one year later, this motherfucker's going on Tucker Carlson show, What America Network, and is talking about MAGA, 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 MAGA? I don't know, man. But, okay, you might be thinking, oh, this is a really bad clip. This is embarrassing. Holy shit. Why would anyone ever do this? Like, if I was caught doing this fucking shit, I would delete all my accounts and hide from the internet forever. But... I guarantee you, it gets worse. This is going to get worse. Check this out. Securing a future that is worth living in, and the only way we can do that is by combating these major institutions, curves, rather than major monopolies who are stealing our, you know, wealth from us. Can but, unite but, with MAGA voters on. So, so Jackson, I, I think the point that I disagree with here is, you know, with the whole point, you're going to own nothing and be happy. That is the globalist goal. Um, that also does fall under the umbrella of communism when you when you trace it throughout its history. You know, communists today in America don't support the eradication of, say, private property or anything like that. OK, so if you look up the definition of communism, the definition of communism is a moneyless, classless, stateless society. There is no private property in communism. Now there's personal property. You can have a house, you can have a farm, you can have a tractor, you can have a computer if it's yours, right? But you can't have a condominium in downtown New York 
that you rent out on Airbnb to just manufacture money for. You can't own extra properties. You can't fence off a random area and say, that's mine. That is communism. So what this guy is saying, what this guy is saying is communists don't believe in the eradication of private property. What? That's the definition of communism, my friend. That is the definition of communism. Now again, so he's going on OAN and Tucker Carlson show talking about how George Soros is like a woke Marxist. Billionaire George Soros is a Marxist. He's a billionaire, but he's a Marxist. And also, Jackson Inkle going up there saying that he wants to secure a future for his people and his children or whatever. Really? Huh. So he's going on Tucker Carlson's show, you quote unquote uniting with MAGA. There's no evidence that MAGA is uniting with him, by the way. There's no evidence that MAGA people are like, oh, okay. There's none whatsoever. And also he's alienating all the communists. So... You're not getting any communists. You're not getting any MAGA people. What are you doing? I don't know, man. This is fucking fun to watch. Um, so you might be wondering, what is, what is MAGA communism? You might be wondering that. I was wondering that too. So, okay, MAGA communism, is it like uh, we have a universal healthcare system, but like the gay and the trans people get deported? Right? Like, you know, it's universal healthcare for me. Do we improve our infrastructure, but deport anyone that doesn't have white skin? Do we lock our borders, but like also have great train systems? Like what, what is, what is MAGA communism? And how is it different from national socialism, AKA Nazi ideology? How is that different? Well, Jackson Inkle is uh, going to help us here. Uh, this is his tweet that he posted yesterday. What does MAGA communism stand for? Well, uh, let's find out. Now, first of all, I just have to say this graphic why on earth would you have a background where there's white stripes and your text is white font without an outline? Can someone tell me? Like, not only is this guy dumb as a motherfucker, but he doesn't know how to make a goddamn graphic to save his fucking life, okay? But anyway, MAGA communism is for, let's find out, re-industrialization of America Okay, what does that mean? Reindustrialization of America? Because on face value, I'm like, okay, all right, I want to reindustrialize, I guess. What does that mean, though? What are we reindustrializing? I don't know. Dismantle big tech. Okay, we want to dismantle large corporations. We want to go after big corporations, right? Okay, maybe not stop at big tech and just go after all corporations. End foreign intervention. Okay, we're gonna end foreign intervention. Now, what does that mean? What are we in, like, intervention? Like, are we gonna not have embassies anywhere? Like, what, like, what does that mean exactly? Do you mean stop the wars? Because if that's the case, why not just say stop the wars? I don't know. Abolish the CIA? I don't, okay. End globalist imperialism. What does that mean? Globalist imperialism. What is globalism anyway? And what is imperialism? Well, imperialism is usurping land that doesn't belong to you and taking over people and colonizing them. You know, similarly to what Russia is doing in Ukraine, similarly to what the United States of America did in Afghanistan, right? That would be imperialism. Abolishing the CIA, FBA, and NSA. All right, so far, you know. You know, again, these are all very vague planks, but so far... Not bad, okay? Drain the DOJ swamp. Now again, what does that mean? Now, this is my question about all of this stuff. What does that mean? The DOJ swamp, can we define that? How are we going to drain it? Do you just want to abolish the Department of Justice? Okay. I mean, I I'm listening, but like, what does that mean? Pardon 1-6 protesters? Now, first of all, they were not protesters. They were insurrectionists. But, okay, pardon them. What about pardon anyone that was arrested during 2020? When 
George Floyd was murdered and people all across the country got arrested on fake charges. Um, you know, again, Michael Ryan was killed, right? Um, a lot of people were killed by police. Journalists were severely maimed. A lot of people were thrown in jail for no reason. Are we going to pardon or are we just pardoning the right wingers? Interesting. Pardon Assange and Snowden. Okay, I can maybe I can get on board with that. Extend free speech to social media. Now, again, what does that mean? Free speech to social media? Like you're allowed to just like spam slurs all day? Because that's that's not really that free speech, right? I don't know. What is free speech? Like I would love like all of the stuff. I would love for like to have any of this not be vague ass garbage. Land reform. Dismantle big agriculture. Now again, land reform. Okay. I'm down to reform land. I'm down to reform land. Dismantle big agriculture. Okay. But what does that mean exactly? Unite with China on BRI. I imagine that's the Belt and Road Initiative. Okay. You know, we're going to stop foreign intervention. We're going to stop imperialism. But we're going to unite with China on their imperialist initiatives. Wait. Okay, so no more foreign intervention. But we're going to intervene in foreign governments with China? Okay, that doesn't really make any sense, but all right. Ban Antifa street terrorism? What? What is Antifa street terrorism? I mean, you can tell the Jackson Inkle is is a fake person. I mean, this guy has never done any protest work. He's never done any organizing work. But are we going to... Okay, I'm down to ban Antifa if we can also ban all the right-wing paramilitaries, right? Because there's like fucking 9 trillion right-wing paramilitary groups. And Antifa doesn't even really exist. So I'm down to ban Antifa because it doesn't really exist. But the Proud Boys also really do exist. Patriot Front really does exist. So if we... But no, 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 just Antifa. And also, what is street terrorism? Like, like going to the street and blowing shit up? Because I'm pretty sure that's already illegal. I'm pretty sure that's already banned. And that's like, when motherfuckers go out there, I want to run on a platform to ban crime. Oh, really? Oh, great. We're going to ban crime. Hmm. Good idea. Expand stable, high-yielding energy, oil, and nuclear... Okay, well, stable, doing a lot of work here. But, all right, leave NATO? Okay. Well, I mean, that kind of goes with end foreign intervention. But also, again, we're going to end foreign intervention. But we're going to work with China on foreign intervention. And we're going to leave NATO, which, what does that do for NATO? It, it, it makes NATO an enemy of the U.S.? Or I don't, I'm just curious. Like, what, it, like, I need specifics here. Mass infrastructure program. Okay, I'm down with that. Declare major energy resources as public commodities. Okay, I'm down. Now again, would you say that MAGA people want to nationalize oil? MAGA people want to nationalize transportation? I don't know. I don't think that that really works for MAGA people, but maybe that's for the communists. Okay. Banking in hands of people. Okay. Economic bill of rights. Okay. Okay. Cut military budget, okay. Protect Second Amendment, I don't, does it need to be protected? Is the Second Amendment under assault right now? I, the last time I saw it, there's school shootings every day, so I think the Second Amendment's doing just fine. Um, I'd like to protect the First Amendment. I'd like to protect the Fourteenth Amendment. I'd like to protect the Fifth Amendment. I'd like to protect the Fourth Amendment, but all right, we can start at the Second Amendment, okay. Cut foreign aid and democracy promotion. So you don't want to promote democracy? That's interesting. No open borders. Okay. Is that like in between states, open borders? Because the only open borders we have in the U.S. are in between states. Like if you go from Michigan to Ohio, that's an open border. There's no checkpoints when you go into Ohio from Michigan or when you go from Ohio to Pennsylvania, there's, there's, it's an open border. You can just go. 
But if you want to go from Wisconsin to Canada, that's a closed border. If you want to go from Texas to Mexico, that's a closed border, unless you can get the proper verification and get approved to go through. So no open borders. Does that mean in between the states? They want to have checkpoints in between every state? I don't know what's going on there. Dismantle the military industrial complex. Okay. I mean, all right. Promote made in America products. I mean, okay, sure. Nationalize big tech. Wait, what? What? So we're, okay. So we're going to dismantle big tech and then nationalize it? Huh? So we're going to get rid of it. And after we're done, get, we're done getting rid of it, we're going to nationalize it. Okay. Literacy movement. Now, this is the one I can get behind. We definitely need a literacy movement in this country. I think Jackson Inkle is a, a really good example of why literacy is such an important thing in this country. Patriotic education and woke academia. Patriotic education. What does that mean? Like dropping the nuclear bombs on Japan was good, actually. Well, patriotic education. So the Iraq war was justified, right? It's patriotic to support the country. I support America, right? So the Iraq war is good, right? I didn't know Jackson Inkle was a big fan of the Iraq uh, invasion. End subsidization of monopolies. Okay. Remove red tape. What the fuck does that mean? Remove red tape. From where? That's an, like, that's an incomplete thought. Remove red tape from... Subsidize gyms in every community? I mean, okay. I'm down to subsidize gyms. But are we going to subsidize housing? Healthcare? Food? Healthy food? Transportation? Education? No, no, no. Just gyms. You can't eat. Where are you going to get the protein when you're going to work out? Well, you're not getting it anywhere. Where are you going to rest when you're done working out? Not at your house because we're not going to subsidize that shit. What if you hurt yourself working out and you need to go to a doctor? Well, you're fucked. But we're going to subsidize the gyms. <laughs> okay. Lower taxes. Just in general, like lower taxes on poor people, rich people. What? Deport the Bush family, Clinton family, Obama, Pompeo, and Bolton to the International Criminal Court. Okay, but what about the Trump family? <laughs> what? Destroy Open Society Foundation, WEF, IMF, and World Bank. Okay. What does that mean, destroy them? How are we going to destroy the World Economic Forum? Would we have to do foreign intervention? Because I thought we ended foreign intervention, except for intervening with China on the Belt and Road Initiative. So we're going to end foreign intervention. Then we're going to intervene with China. And are we going to work with China to intervene with the IMF? What? Okay. Gates, Ford, and Clinton Foundations. Interesting that Trump isn't on that list. Dismantle Big Pharma. I'm in. All right. That's great. Destroy duopoly slash DC uniparty. All right, we're going to end the duopoly. Okay. End debt slavery. Okay, I'm in. Imprison opioid fentanyl networks. What does that mean, imprison opioid fentanyl networks? What does that mean, imprison the networks? What? Imprison the networks? Like, are we talking about street dealers, importers, exporters? So we're going to work with China to end foreign interventionism while we intervene in foreign areas. And China is the largest exporter of fentanyl to the United States. Um, so we're going to imprison China. We're, we're not going after dealers. We're going after the whole network here. Okay, but all right. Protect minors from sexualization. What does that mean? One, who is sexualizing minors? Well, we know the largest group that sexualizes minors are religious people. Religious people. So are we going to protect kids from religious institutions? Because I'm, I'm okay with that. No kid is allowed in a church or in a 10-mile uh, radius of a church. I'm down with that. 
That's good with me. All right. Dismantle secret societies. CENTCOM AFRICOM. All right. Secret societies. So, okay. I don't... How do you know if it's a secret society, if it's a secret? Okay. Declare NED, USAID, and NAFO terrorist organizations. I don't even know what NAFO is. What is NAFO? Can someone tell me what NAFO is? Arrest George Soros, Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, Fauci. Why would you arrest Fauci? And all Epstein Associates are criminals. Does that include Donald Trump? Because Donald Trump is an Epstein Associate. And a criminal. Again, so we're going to arrest criminals. My plank on MAGA communism is we are going to arrest criminals. Oh, really? Okay, well. Interesting. So anyway, uh, Jackson Inkle, needless to say, and I, I don't want to be too rude here because he is a kid and he is really fucking stupid. But like... Only the really... I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ... So, there you go. That's MAGA communism, folks. And, uh, again, when he went on OAN, the OAN guy was like, you don't sound like a communist. Well, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Holy fucking shit, man. Motherfuckers are dumb as hell. I also just want to say, like, on a victory lap, right? On a victory lap, Jackson Inkle started grifting to the right right after I destroyed him in an online debate in the battlefield of ideas, right? He tried to debate me on who was more to the left and who's the real Marxist or whatever. Meanwhile, now, one year later, he's going on OAN, Tucker Carlson show, and, you know, being a MAGA guy. So I don't know, man. Just saying, I think I came out on top on that one uh, in every fashion except for uh, finances because obviously he's getting paid a lot of money to be the stupid. Um, and I have integrity, so, sorry, but if, uh, if Jackson Ankle wants a rematch, um, he does say here in, uh, his follow-up, he does say, uh, these are some of the biggest issues of our time. Like, NAFO is the biggest issue. I don't even know what that is. So, I mean, I guess he's ahead of me on that. I challenge anybody to debate me on why it's bad or fascistic to unite populists of all backgrounds. Well, challenge accepted. I accept the challenge. If Jackson Inkle wants to have another debate in the battlefield of ideas, I'm always open. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. Not going so well uh, for that guy's uh, mental health, it seems. Um, but we all get to watch it, so. Subsidized gyms. That's so good.